everybody, we're back again. We're here in Munich still, but we're in a very different spot here. I am at the original Steindl... Steindl. Steindl. Original Steindl Wiesentracht und Meer. Like, we're here today because, you know, we want to celebrate Oktoberfest. It is October, but Oktoberfest is actually in September. What? Yes, but you wouldn't notice no. with, with what, we're, <laughs> Look what at me. we're dressed up. So I have, of course, my authentic uh, Bavarian hat. Is this authentic hat? No, no, it's no. an idiot hat. Okay, that's an idiot what, it's hat? the idiot. An idiot hat. Oh, yeah. thank you so much for thank saying so that. Much. This thank is you. this is of course uh, um, Linda is 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 our uh, taking care of us today with with the outfits. And Linda is is fantastic. Linda looked at me and goes, "Okay, you're 36." Like just knew right away knew. what size everything was, and it just it fit perfectly. And yeah. so, and I'm wearing the. Is this sort of the traditional? Yeah, that's a traditional way. You have like. A short pants with a nice yes, belt. Yes, short pants. Yeah, yep. long socks, always long socks. Yes. Socks, not the short ones. A uh, nice vest and the traditional shirt is like a white shirt. So do you get a lot of people coming in here, tourists who are looking for, you know, the yeah. outfit, the uh, traditional? Yeah, at Oktoberfest. Yes, especially. Like, really busy. They buy it, they buy it. I don't know why, but they like it, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and you also have Oktoberfest in, in, in America right. or Canada. Right. So you can take it home and use it. Now, does anyone wear this today outside of Oktoberfest normally? Uh, in Munich? Yeah. Uh, not that not many really, people. Not really, right? No. Yeah, in summer, many um, men wear just the pants with the shirt and okay. go out in the English garden. And they, that's nice. But when you go like more to the mountains, like Bad Tuts or something yes. else, they wear it all day. Oh, really? Okay. Every day. So, so it's like a, like a mountain man's outfit. I kind of like the sound of that. Yeah. So you're, you look like Canadian a mountain lumberjack, man. Yeah, maybe a the lumberjack, mountain man. Mountain maybe man. I, can, I can do this. I, I like the way it fits, honestly. It yeah. feels, when I first put it on, I was like, oh, I feel a little self conscious. But now I'm getting pretty comfortable in <laughs> it, I have to say. You just oh, need the beer to drink it now. Yes, that's true. That would and be nice. A you don't have any of that here, do you? No, no, no beer. Okay, well, no. Good. I'm going to keep wearing it for a little bit more if that's okay. Yeah, yeah, for right. sure. I'm going to talk here a little bit more about what we're going to be doing today. But thank yeah. you so much, Linda. It was a You're real welcome. pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Now, one thing about last night, before we get into today's activities, sure. is we had a chance to do a little bit of gaming. We did. Didn't we? Yeah. We did. <laughs> we, went to, uh, well, we went to the hotel restaurant, right. which was perfect because they had table space set up yes, there for us. Yes, that was nice. I had schnitzel for the very first time. You did? It was awesome. It was really, <laughs> really good. And, it, you know, it, it's funny because it's, it's it's, when you think of Germany and you think of schnitzel, it's actually really Austrian, but we, we're just going to say that it's German. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> because, again, like, like this, these Trochtens, right, it's, it's this kind of... Oh, Mis blending misconception of, yeah. of, of what is and what isn't German, so it's all right. We're gonna we're gonna allow that. Today. And this is the idiot hat, though. This that, is one way or yes, other, This is, is the idiot hat, and yeah. I and I think <laughs> I am really well. Yeah, I am relegated strangely. to wear the idiot hat <laughs> all day today. We had a perfect tie in our game of Dominion. We Unbelievable. did. Unbelievable. It was quite a fierce back and forth, and we there was did. tied. And it, since we were in such a cooperative spirit, then we played Codenames Duet, which is a fully cooperative game. Right. And. We didn't quite win. But we, we didn't were quite very win, close. but we were really close. Yeah, really. And, close. and you kind of gave us the win because I didn't really. There's understand. one little rule that there was one. Yeah, little... there was one little kind of catch in, in the rules That's that I didn't me. quite understand. That's on me. Though. Oh, um, we'll play it again. But later. we'll play it again later, um, at some other time because today we've got new games for we've today. We've got new games yeah. for today, um, and we do have a new game. Every day, and that, that's kind of a part of this, this adventure that, that we're doing. It's a, a game that's based on what we're doing. And the games we try to give away, right? To the right, people who right. come. And yeah. so, so when, when we'd have the actual like, group tour, I don't want to take all of these games home. <laughs> I do, but I have, he doesn't have to. I have a small apartment. I don't have room <laughs> right. for all of these things. And so if we're coming with, with at least maybe two copies of each game, yeah. we're going to be able to give those, uh, give those kind of games away to, right. and figure out how to do that, who wins and who doesn't win or, or whatever. Yeah, well, but there's some, some fair there, way of yeah, distributing, some the way way of distributing these to, to, to everybody. So we'll have quite a few yeah. games to get rid of. Now today, of course, our, our game is, is Oktoberfest. And we'll be playing that uh, probably at least first in the, the English Garden, so the English Garden here. Does everyone there speak English? Everyone there probably, probably knows, how to. <laughs> knows how to, because it's common enough. Uh, it's just called an English garden yeah. because it's an English garden. So that you've got two kinds of gardens. You've got an English garden, you've got a, a French garden. An English okay. garden is more like, like a park, so it's very kind of meadows and trees and things, whereas a French garden would be very kind of manicured with flowers and, and things like that. Um, and, and so we're kind of going to work our way from here through Marienplatz. We're going to see if we can't uh, catch the glockenspiel with the big uh, show on the clock tower. And then once we arrive at the English Gardens, yes. we'll actually see something you would never expect to see in the middle of, of Bavaria, in the middle of Munich, in the middle of, you know, there's no ocean anywhere close by, but we're actually going to watch some surfers. 
like surfer surfers? Yeah, or like, is this like some surfer, kind of play surfer, on words this, or no, something. No, no, this is actually surfer surfers. There is um, a kind of a man-made river that runs through the English garden called the Eisbach um, River, and there's this this wave. Uh, at one and you the, can surf this wave. And you can surf this wave. So there's a barrier uh, of the from the water coming into the garden to keep it from flowing too fast, and it forms this artificial wave, and okay. that's the Eisbach Vela, the the Eisbach wave. And so you get people from, you know, around the world coming just to say that I've... It's so I've, unique, right? Yeah, it's so unique. So everybody says, well, I've come and, and surfed at, at the is, English Is there garden. someone there every day? Are people there there's, all the There's people there every day, and I would say 365 days a year, because I've come here wow. in okay. December and yeah. seen people surfing. You just put, a, you know, an extra layer sure. of, of wetsuit or dry suit on and a little bit of head protection, and away you go. So that'll be something uh, neat and interesting to see. And then once we kind of work our way into the garden, then we'll we'll maybe set up at um, at the uh, kind of beer hall stand by the Chinese Tower where we've got some table space that we can play Oktoberfest. Once we've of course flipped those tables um, <laughs> with rage yes. uh, and, and and I was I, I've never played Oktoberfest. I was going through the rules yeah. uh, and I think you played it once before. Yeah, or I've played it once before, okay. and and there might be some some. There might be it's, some table flipping. It's going to be a learning game, that's yeah, for sure. It'll be a learning game. <laughs> and, and then once we kind of get that taken care of, get that mastered, um, because, you know, Oktoberfest is so based on beer and, and, mm. and the beer halls and things, we're actually going to hit up two beer gardens today. We're going to see if we can hit the, the Leuvenbräu uh, beer garden and the Augustiner okay. beer garden. And then we'll end up for, for dinner at the, the, the renowned Hofbräu house, uh, the, the most kind of well-known beer hall in, in Munich. And the reason that we're doing that is because at Oktoberfest here in Munich, the only people allowed to uh, sell beer at the Oktoberfest are any breweries that are actually based in the city of Munich. And how many would that then be? There's six. So we're going we're gonna to hit so actually... There's only six breweries, there's only six breweries that can officially okay. participate at Oktoberfest. And we're going to hit all... Uh, we're going to hit half of those up hey, today. Hey, not bad. Yeah. In one day. In one day. <laughs> we'll see if I'm walking by the end of the day. Uh, because at the end of the day, also, we're going to potentially get together with some people uh, to play some, some more games as well in the evening of who knows what variety, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And may, if, if, if we're lucky, then maybe I can pass the idiot hat <laughs> to, somebody to somebody else. else. I'm sure I'll be wearing um, it before the end we of could, the day. Yeah, we could maybe <laughs> pass it on to Rodney, and, okay. and then I'll feel better about okay. myself. Okay. Well, you should feel pretty good. Reason. You're doing a wonderful job guiding me through this. So let's, we'll have to take this off, unfortunately, mm -hmm. and we'll head on our way. Yes, let's do that. All right, but until our next video, thank you very much for watching.